Hello, and welcome to Let's Talk Spoo. I'm your host, Don, and today we are going to talk about the recent prequel to Pet Cemetery entitled Pet Cemetery Bloodlines that you can watch for free on Paramount Plus, which if you have a Walmart Plus account, you get Paramount Plus for free. So it's extra free. Yeah. As per usual on Let's Talk Spoop, we break things down into six separate categories. Those six separate categories are story, acting, music, look, atmosphere, and creep. And that is in the wrong order. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Pet Cemetery Bloodlines. Ah, crap. So the story. Um, it's the same concept as the previous movies. Uh, just FYI, Pet Cemetery Bloodlines is a prequel specifically to the remake of Pet Cemetery, not the original Pet Cemetery movie. This movie essentially is telling you the story of how Judd came to know about the cemetery and that he's like the protector of it. And it kind of revolves around a guy coming back from the Vietnam War and everybody and his dad's super excited about it and telling everybody about it. But in actuality, he died at, in Nam and his dad buried him in the pet cemetery. And now he's come to life and he's going on a murder rampage and also trying to make more demon zombie things whatever it is that comes out of the pet cemetery because it's not really clear it also has like a subplot about how it's like the land's always been like that and the native americans tried to warn them and things went badly and they built the town there to protect the people from whatever comes out of the pet cemetery yeah um i gave it a tree uh i enjoyed it It's really just about kind of how the concept of what happened, like the ending of Pet Cemetery, the original, where the kid starts to, or the remake, where the kid starts to make his family into additional demon zombies and they're going to go out and destroy things. It's that, but it's set in the past. So I, I liked it. Three out of five. Acting. It's not bad, um, but. The characters kind of felt wooden. Um, Judge your hero, and he's your generic dude, and his girlfriend is the generic damsel in distress, and they almost fridge her, and the Native American characters act like the stereotypical Native American character that's in a small town in any movie. Um, so it's all right. But it does have David Duchovny in it, I've got a weird man crush on David Duchovny. I don't know why, but I enjoy watching him in movies for some reason. So I gave it a three out of five. Music. There's nothing special. 2.5 out of five. Atmosphere. I can't read my own handwriting. Oh, yeah. So atmosphere. Uh, like I For the most part, I enjoyed this movie, but I can't. I don't know what happened while I was watching this movie, but about halfway through it, I just kind of lost interest in what was going on. I don't know why, but that's, that's what happened. Uh, so I had to give it a two out of five for atmosphere because it just, I wasn't riveted. I was, I was watching it and I was there and I didn't need to, I didn't feel like I had to shut it off because it went horrible, but it just didn't, didn't hold me. Um, so two look, Kind of gross, uh, not bad special effects. Three out of five. And then finally, creep. The creepiness factor in this starts out good. This movie starts out with some good, like, weird body horror and zombie-looking dudes and stuff like that. Um, but then the creepiness kind of goes away. And I, that's about, like, the point where I lost interest. So I have to give it... A 2 out of 5 for Creep. So we do all that math, and we get a 2.5 out of 5 for Bloodlines on Paramount+. Plus. I will say that I enjoyed this movie more than the remake that it is a prequel to. 
So if you enjoyed the remake, you will definitely enjoy this. If you didn't hate the remake, you should give it a watch. If you absolutely hated the remake, it might surprise you, but you probably don't need to watch it. Um, and with that said, okay, thanks, bye.